welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you guys from our guest bedroom. If you watch my vlogs, you already kind of know like what's going on in my life a little bit. Also what's going on with my skin, with my hair and all of those things. But I wanted to create this specific video because I want to see where I'm at in exactly a year from today as far as my hair journey. I haven't really been documenting my hair journey for a about three years now but you guys if you know me you know I started off doing relaxed hair content hair care content and so if you scroll down on my YouTube videos you'll be able to see exactly where your girl came from on the YouTube platform I wanted to make a full-blown video about it because it's just a lot better to be able to refer back to than a certain part of a certain vlog so yeah um, first thing I want to do is I want to do a little bit of a length check this is uh, basically right now just like I did two twists going like you know how you do cornrows I don't know what I don't know how to call them but you know how you do two cornrows going back why well, I did two twists going back and then I undid them this morning so my hair typically is more of like a fluff ball but it's a little bit more tame since this is day one of this twist out today is Saturday December third was it third yeah saturday saturday december third okay so obviously we're gonna be seeing where i'm at a year from today but okay so this is the front part of my hair which i think this one is and i just recently did a trim to you guys so um yeah so this is the front part of my hair goes to like right here i'll probably be wearing this shirt again for the update too so the back of my hair goes to about right here a little bit below so like right there when I turn around I guess I'll do the back so it goes to about like right there so if you guys didn't know I post a lot on my YouTube shorts so make sure you're watching my YouTube shorts because I post a lot of things on there you guys might be missing out on but basically, I use this app called The Hair Journal, which I made an entire YouTube short and Instagram reel about, if you guys want to know the details on that. But this app, it's I've been documenting my journey for about four years on this app. I mistakenly said six years when I made the reel, but it's actually been four years that I've been documenting my journey on that app. And this is basically an updated picture of me after a trim and everything else. So this is my hair while it's wet. I feel like my hair while it's wet, you can really see how long it is. So I just want to show it on here. I have cut off a good like five inches of my hair within the last year. But this was my hair February the 24th of 2021. And this was one month after, not even a month, this was like a week or two after I had relaxed my hair from being natural. So I had a lot of damage. From being natural I don't know how that could happen because I was deep conditioning I was doing everything that you were supposed to do right but I would just I guess I was having a hard time my hair was having a hard time and I didn't even know it so that was my hair back in 2021 um, this was Friday um, and you see the date right there so that was my hair Friday October 14th back in this kind of gives you guys a full kind of view of my hair a little bit better but one thing I've been realizing is that in my hair journey I just know my relaxed hair if you guys go back to my relaxed hair videos my hair was always so healthy and thick and amazing and relaxers never have thin my hair broken my hair done anything to my scalp they've never done anything as far as like my health goes my blood work is always good my health is always top-notch so I'm just excited to kind of be back in a place where I've cut all of the damage off basically all of the unevenness the fishtail breakage which is what I had and now I'm just moving on to basically seeing growth now my hair is basically all one length besides just the front which is totally fine because it gives me a little bit of like bangs kind of frames my face a little bit but everything else is basically the same length and at this point I'm not cutting off any damage my ends are actually freshly cut right now so I'm not in need of a trim I am at a place right now where now I'm ready to just continue taking care of my hair because I wasn't doing that for two years even after relaxing my hair I was not doing like deep conditions and all that stuff so I'm just 
glad to be back. So basically, I want to list some of the things that I am going to be doing to my hair this next upcoming year of 2023. So definitely going to be continuing with the deep conditions. One thing I wanted to do was make a specific video about a rice. It's called a rice conditioner. It's basically made out of rice. I know it sounds crazy. It sounded crazy to me, but I looked up a lot of videos on it and apparently it's really good for your hair and it's actually better than using products. So I don't know. You guys know I love all natural DIY types of stuff. So I'm definitely going to be trying that. The next thing that I have already implemented is fenugreek pills. Fenugreek pills, I feel like are going to make a lot of the difference in my hair because I keep seeing a lot of good things about fenugreek. But instead of the pills, I might only opt for the teas as well as the fenugreek seeds, which I think I ordered them on Amazon and they should be coming sometime soon. Yeah, because the fenugreek seeds, what you can do is because I make my own oils, all you have to do is put the fenugreek seeds in your oils and let it sit for, I think they said about two days before you use it. And it also helps. It has hair growth benefits. So I think since I make my own oil, I was just like, I might as well just get the fenugreek seeds too. So I did get the fenugreek seeds. Oh yeah. So this is the one, these are, these are the fenugreek seeds that I got. And I'm going to show you the vitamins that I got because I don't want to go downstairs right now to go get them. These are the fenugreek seeds that I got right here. And those are the ones that are coming. So once those come, I'll be adding those to my olive oil concoction that I normally do with my lemongrass and all of that stuff. And then this is the fenugreek vitamins that I got. So those are the fenugreek vitamins that I got. Those, I'm only on day two of using those. So I obviously am not gonna see much of a difference right now. But yeah, um, so deep conditioning, using the fenugreek seed oil and also taking fenugreek pills. Um, and then also going to be trimming, I would say every three to four months, but also I just kind of examine my hair throughout the times that I do my hair sometimes and I'll clip off anything that looks like it's beginning to split. I'll just go ahead and do that. But as far as a real trim, I don't trim that often. Um, basically everything is pretty full and even, so I don't need any, I don't have any excess cutting that I need to do because from the time that I showed you guys that picture where I had the fishtail breakage to like today, I actually cut off an extra like five to six inches. So there was a lot of times that I just felt like my hair wasn't growing. It was just becoming thicker because I was cutting off length, but it was getting thicker. It was getting healthier. So at this point, this is what I mean by like at this point, I don't have any of that thinning to cut off. So everything is just going to be extra length and just trimming for the sake of keeping my ends healthy. But I don't use heat on my hair. My routine is very simple. I wash once a week. I wash once a week and I use typically Aussie Moist products to wash, condition, and deep condition and moisturize my hair. But then I also throw in some DIY things that I use like my oil, for example. And sometimes I'll use a shea butter to moisturize my ends as well. So that's basically my wash day routine. After I do that, I let my hair air dry. I only use a wide tooth comb. I don't use heat. I don't straighten my hair. I don't think I've straightened my hair for about a year and a half. And I just don't really like to straighten my hair. I prefer my hair with some, you know, some like, I don't know, like a braid out or something like that. I just don't really prefer my hair straight. Um, and just to, it keeps the health of my hair also. It keeps my hair from getting dry and all of that. So I don't worry about straightening my hair. I think that's just a plus because applying heat to your hair can most definitely, if not done safely, if not done properly and using the right products, it can take a toll on your hair. So I don't worry about that part. Heat styling and all of that stuff. Every time I wash my hair, I deep condition every single time. And I deep condition with heat, with a heated cap. So after I do that, I basically just let my hair air dry at least up to 70 to 80%. And then I will go ahead and do my two twists going straight back. And I'll just leave my hair like that until I'm ready to get ready the next day. And I train at the gym about five to six times a week. And 
I do weightlifting as well as some days where I'm running, like strictly running, like I'm kind of training for a marathon. So lots of sweat. I'm not really focused on having my hair down and on my shoulders except for on the weekends. So I'll do, you know, like curly, messy looking buns with maybe some hair out in the front. I'll do things like that for the gym, but I'm never always wearing my hair down because honestly, like, like I said, I just go to the gym a lot and my hair is better when it's just up and away and not getting sweat on it so that's basically going to be my routine i'm gonna keep doing that and i'll make content about my hair throughout the year so that you guys can stay updated if i try something new if i do something new same thing what's going on with my skin i'm just trying new things but i love doing all natural things it is time to tackle on this hair health journey and i want you guys in on it with me so if you want to join me definitely you have to subscribe so that you'll be able to get notifications on the updated videos that i'm going to make and i'm just excited to kind of give you guys an update i'll probably end up doing a three month update or a four month update i'm not really sure um but there will be updates nonetheless thank you guys so much for joining me all right bye guys